In this video, we will learn some of the basic date functions available in Excel. So let us go to the employees worksheet here and let's insert a new record about row number one, insert. And let's try to type in a formula here equals month of, Excel is asking for a serial number so we're going to point to this date we have here and close. Okay, Excel is giving us one. So this is a date field or a date cell, which has January 1st, 2013. And when we asked Excel to calculate the month of this date, Excel gave us one. One stands for January. And if I scroll further, copy this over to the right and as i hit february you can see that the month is two so this is a pretty easy and a convenient way of calculating the month number for any given day similarly excel can identify the year of this specific date here and we get 2013 and we can also choose day and day will return the day basically it'll be the day part of your date so one two three four five so you can take this date and separate out the day month and the year using three separate functions day gives you the date and month function will give you the month and year function will give you the year number in this case we want to keep the month so i'm going to choose month and i'm going to copy this all the way towards the end which is december 31st and so now we have a row of cells which will give us the month number as you can see here at the end it's december so month 12 so we have the month number, which we will use very soon in some calculations. Another thing that we often see is the calculation of difference between two dates. So let's say in this case, we start with 1st of January and then our calendar ends here 31st of December. So let's say I wanna calculate the difference between these two cells. So let me do it here equals 31st December, which is the last cell, minus the first cell I'm gonna select here, Jan 1st, which is B2. And I'm gonna hit enter. So Excel tells me that the difference between 31st December and the 1st of January is 364. So we know that there are 365 days, but Excel is telling us that this is 364. And this is because, let's say, for example, we have 10 numbers or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have 10 numbers here. But if you just take the difference between the last and the first, so 10 minus 1, you get 9. So it, we don't include both 1 and 10 in our count. So that's why Excel here is giving us 364 because it's taking the number here minus the first number. That's always one less. So if you would like to count both ends and if you would like Excel to say 365, the only way to do that would be whenever you do date difference calculations, you add one. So the end date minus the begin date plus one will give you the total number of days inclusive of the start and the end. Here, including January 1st and 31st December and all the days in between, there are totally 365 days. In order for you to see that, you would see end date minus the start date plus one. 